So no one ever thought, maybe including yourself, that you all would be playing this long, that you would be playing. No, I never 30s. thought I'd be playing this no? long. Because I thought, oh, it's silly to play a sport this long. I'll be going on to something bigger and better. But I realized this is bigger and this is better. <laughs> I'm going to be here as long as I can play great. So that's the whole plan. And you're playing great. And you certainly are a showstopper when you get on the court. And your yeah. 11 designs yeah. are also a reason why. So this was the corset, kind of the this lace is the that you wore, the French. This famous corset, Jess. And now that I look at it, it's tiny. It's a little old thing. 11. What's behind the name? 11 is about being better than a 10. So it's really about bringing your best out of yourself and going better than the top, which is historically a 10. So it's about going to an 11. And 11 is about feeling great in your clothes. And I know when I take off the jacket, you know, there's going to be some kind of commentary on it. And that's, that's a fun part of it all. But um, more than anything, by that time, I know that it's well designed enough that regardless of if it's lace or some other application, I'm not going to think about it. I'm going to actually be able to play my best and look really good. Well, it seems like you've always been unflappable. When you first turned pro, and there were a lot of folks who weren't really sure if you would be around for a long time pay, playing the kind of power tennis that you were playing, being careful about how to not overschedule yourself. And mm -hmm. here you are now 30, about to be 31, and you're still playing very strong. If you do it with your investments, why not do it with your career? <laughs> so that's what it was all about, is to be able to have the opportunity to play longer if I chose to. So do you think that has influenced other players? Absolutely. I believe a lot of players have changed their schedule of play um, based on some of the decisions Serena and I have made. And before, people got a lot of criticism if they didn't play enough. I think people now are seeing that it's much better for your body and for a long-term career if you play more strategically. So of all of your titles, these 21 Grand Slam titles, three Olympic gold medals, do you have a favorite? Is there a medal or a trophy or a plate or a dish, a bowl that you see when you look at it and you say, you know what, this one is the most meaningful to me because X, Y, Z. Yeah, um, the medals are, were beyond my dreams. I never dreamed of winning a gold medal, so when it actually happened, I thought, this wasn't on the list. <laughs> so that was amazing. I hope to do it again. And um, there's two trophies that I keep by my bed and one is the 05 Wimbledon because every single person said oh she won't win this match and I was out on an injury and of course everyone as soon as you're going they're like oh you're washed up and I came back and I won the tournament out of nowhere and then there's another tournament strangely enough from Acapulco and it was very difficult for me to win this ter mat tournament because I came back from one five in the third set which I've never done before and I just knew if I won one game that I could win the match. <laughs> and that sounds strange that if you know you can get to 2-5, you know you can win, but I knew it. Mm. So that little trophy I keep by my bed too because that showed something I'd never done before. So they inspire you even to this day. Yeah, those are the two ones I keep. And strangely enough, only two. The rest are just all around the house. If you had to, or I should say, the day that you make a decision, and it's hard to look in the crystal ball, but the day you made a decision and said, you know what, I'm not going to play anymore, will that be a sad day? Will it be a moment where, you know, there will be uncontrollable tears about saying goodbye, or yeah. does it depend on the circumstances? Well, hopefully I'll be ready. Uh, it'll be a tough day because tennis has been my whole life in many ways, and it's given me so much. Um, so it, it'll be tough, and at that point, I guess I'd be ready, or maybe I'd be really bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know when that day will be or what I'll feel like, but maybe we can talk about it.